You look fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations. You. How long has it been since you had your twin boys? Uh, six and a half months. Six and a half months, and I can only imagine we have a baby at home. Congratulations, Thank you by very the way, much. I appreciate that. Jane. But I, I can't even imagine having two of them simultaneously. Don't, don't, because it's, uh, <laughs> it's great. It's a blessing. Um, we know, because we, we keep, we, the people keep telling us. Uh, <laughs> we're, no, we're very, very happy. They, it's just like, whatever you do, you know, if you change a diaper and you put one down, it's like you have to do it all over again. And that's when they're having, you know, when they're in a good mood. But if they're having, like, a little tantrum, it's at the same time. And then, like, you put one to sleep because we're sleep training right now. Oh, yeah, that's oh terrible. <laughs> sleep training twins is no joke because yeah, you put you one that? to sleep and you lay him down and the other one has been asleep, but then that one wakes up and then the other one wakes up, so then everybody's crying. Then my husband and I are crying. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> people don't know what sleep training is, and I didn't realize this no. either, is that you, you just let him cry. And what is it? You have to wait like 15 minutes, you let know, them cry. You know, it's overwhelming because there's so many different methods. And uh, just the other day, uh, my sister, who has a nine-month-old, uh, you know, shared with us the method that she did. And she brought the piece of paper and grabbed us both with a bottle of vodka. In the she kitchen. gives the babies vodka? No, no, no. She grabbed the vodka. She's like, what oh, do you guys right. have? Because goes, that's how her and her husband did it. Because the moment you hear your child cry, it's like it rips the guts out of yeah, you. Yeah, it's terrible. And it's like, we have two. So so it's crazy. So we, there was a bottle of skinny girl. <laughs> and we had the monitor with the volume all the way high. And we have this little note thing that you have to, like, this log that you have to be logging in all the time. And we put them down. Mommy and Daddy loves you in, in Italian and Spanish. We'll get to that later. <laughs> and then we walk out, and they're having a meltdown. So then you have to time it. Then you go in. And my sister was just like, I mean, can we go in? Can we go? She goes, OK, go in now. And we go in. And I'm like, what do we do? Don't know eye content. Just say, Mommy and Daddy loves you in Italian, Spanish, and and then and then she would come and pull us out. So by the third time, I mean it had been 45 minutes already. We were kind of buzzed. Um, <laughs> it's heart wrenching. You, my husband doesn't drink, and he was just like, "Give me that bottle." <laughs> so then we go in, and we just finally like we abort. We abort mission. We we take our kids. I take oh. one. He takes the other, and we're both crying. The boys are like their bodies are weeping. You know when they do that, <laughs> and you go, "Oh my God, he's never gonna forgive me for this." <laughs> And then Marco and I are talking in the room going, it's not for us, it's too archaic, there has to be a more gentle method, we cannot, they did it because they're insensitive, they don't care about their children. My sister's outside with the monitor at full volume. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, oh, and our oh. best friend. And we were just like, oh. When they were like, we get it, we get it. Uh, OK, they didn't get mad? <laughs> no, no, are you, you kidding me? You got to be careful with those baby monitors, I all sorts of things. Yes, all sorts of I things. I think the baby should be in separate rooms, because I don't no. know how, because they wake each other up, right? They do, they do. They wake each other up. But it's just, I don't yeah. know, they were born together. Yeah. It would, it, it, it's unnatural to separate them. You in my mind, it just makes sense. You one of them to speak Spanish and one of them to speak Italian. I don't know what they're going to speak, because right now we're talking to them in English and Italian and Spanish. And then what's most confusing is that my mom would like to be called a certain way as a grandmother. In Spanish, it's mama. OK. So I'm mommy. And then his mother is la nona. Oh, so I'm like, how grandma. are they going to do this between La Nona, Mama, and Mommy? They're and not. Go, they're going to call Italian, them. Spanish, and English. Yeah. I kind of have a feeling they're probably going to tell us like their first words are going to be like, oh, English, English, this is America. <laughs> <laughs> There's almost no question that that is going to happen. They yeah. will. They'll yeah. roll their eyes like, like English. Uh, grody. Yeah. That's what I did at Do the house. Do kids still say grody? Do babies say grody nowadays? Yeah. What is grody? My daughter only says dada. That's it. And that's how I'd like it to stay. I am Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all our latest videos before they die and go to YouTube heaven.